Hi everyone, it's Kevin Oxner here with YourMakingMe.com and I want to go through a quick overview of the XMind 2013 edit menu. I'm not going to go through everything in detail. Things that need to be gone through in detail will have their own separate videos and I'll not be going through preferences because preferences is gigantic and I have a separate video for that. Let's go up to the top, we'll start at the top and we'll work our way down to the bottom. So looking at this, the first part of the edit menu has what I consider typical Windows functions. Undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, delete, even the home button is very similar. The select brothers is actually really cool. Now by, by brothers it just means that it's nodes on the same level. So when I'm talking about levels, this here is selection, that would be one level, and then down from that would be everything that's just directly below. It's all these things. I'll show you exactly what I mean here in a second. By selecting brothers, it's control shift A, and it's going to select everything that's on the same level as this. So to give you another example, with selection, there's obviously a brother here and a brother here. You can call them brother nodes, sisters, whatever you want to call them, but really it just means they're on the same level. So control shift A, and it would highlight all those as well. It's an in nifty way to make sure you get everything that's on the same level, and you can either move things around, or you can do some editing, or you can change the formatting, whatever you're, you're considering doing. An alternative that goes with the select brothers, I would say, is select children. The difference being that Select Brothers means you're, you're going to choose everything that's the same level, and Children would be obviously things that are a level below that. So let's give it a shot here. Now Select Children is Control Alt A, very similar to Control Shift versus Control Alt, and I'll give you an idea of what it means. I'm going to select Children for this node, and it'll select all those four below it. I think it's really handy if you're going to be rearranging things, and as opposed to taking this and dragging it somewhere else, and then renaming it, you can just go ahead and you can say, okay, I want to take most of the information on here. I want to take all this. Oh, I, I want to leave this. So by holding down the control key, I can deselect things. And then I can go ahead and either cut, I can cut this out and paste it somewhere else, or I can go ahead and move it or do whatever I need to do. It's just one more tool as a power user that you might want to consider when you're using XMind. There's still one thing that I wish that would be improved in XMind, and that's that there's, there's no way to copy just the selection you've made. When you copy something, you copy everything and from that point down. And that's okay, it's a nice way, it's great that I'm able to go in here and highlight all these things and, and be able to copy everything. But what I would like to have an option is even a, you know, in, in the right click bar would be to have an option just, just to select these things that I've chosen. If you're wondering why I might just want to have just a selection recorded, I'll give you an example. Now, if I'm in here and I'm choosing, I want to choose a select brothers, I'll take these four. Now, I have a weekly goals call that I participate in. And usually what I'll do is I'll have my goals lined up and then I'll have all my, my tasks below that. If I was able to just select certain ones like I have here and choose only those, I could just copy and paste the main goals into the email without having to worry about going through and deleting them, del deleting what's below that. And it just saves you a step. That's a little bit of a nitpicky thing, but it's something I've got on my wish list. Anyway, let's move on. Other typical functions that you probably have seen before, a check spelling. There's no shortcut on this, and really for my maps, I recommend you don't check spell spelling too much. I want you getting in, using it, being effective, and if you want, you can always export it to Word and do the spell check there. But this does allow you to do spell checking. I don't think I've ever used spell checking on my thing beyond just if it has the the red red line saying I've spelled the word incorrectly as I type it in. but I try to be more free-flowing, and I try not to use spell checking too, too much when using a mind mapping program. Find and replace. This is a cool feature. This is a, here. I want to tell you how you can use this in a neat way. We're going to go in here, and we'll use the, the find and replace. It's just control F, like any other Windows program. The benefit of this is that if you have several workbooks, you can see I've got several sheets open, rather, not workbooks, several sheets open in this workbook. I can choose to either just look at the current map, which will be just this sheet, or the entire workbook. So if you've got a huge workbook and you're trying to find something, you're like, ah, I don't know where it is, control F, find it, and you can choose to find it in the entire workbook. It's a neat example and actually a very powerful use. So that's it for the quick overview of the edit menu. If you found this video useful, get the cheat sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.